What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Yacht Addiction YouTube channel. Today, we're gonna to be touring a Bavaria Vita 33. This yacht is built in Germany by Bavaria Yachts. It has the white oak interior. Overall, the length is 36 feet and two inches. It has a beam of 11 feet and three inches and a draft of two to three feet depending on the load. This yacht is presented by SNJ Yachts. Now, as you can see, right off the back, you have two outboard motors. These are Mercury V8 engines. They're 300 horsepower each. This yacht is tremendously fast. I've read into the 40s for the top speed, around 40 to 45 knots. And as you can see right on the back, they also have a hydraulic swim platform, which is pretty rare for an outboard yacht like this. You can see how this can actually raise up and lower. So depending on how you're docked, if you need to step on, you can accommodate that with the swim platform and still get to the outboards. You also have steps that when this is lowered, these will turn into steps you can walk right into the yacht. Another thing you'll see is a lack of side decks. So this gives you a ton of space. You can maximize the full use of the beam on this one. Here you can see some of the specs of the yacht. So let's step onto the swim platform and check out the rest of the boat. So if we step into the cockpit, you'll see that this is obviously an extremely open boat. Currently, they have this cushion on, but if we flip it over, you'll see that this is the dining table. And we have this huge seating section that wraps around the entirety of this table. So you can fit a lot of people on board this one. You just have the single cabin down below, but obviously this is more of a day boat or weekender boat. And you can lower this table and that's why you have the pad here. So you can have a massive sun pad area when you lower this table down. You also have a hard top overhead, but there's also the section in the middle. So you can open this up completely. Like I said, this is a very open boat. You can also see the cutouts from the windows here. And then on the port side, you have your catering area. So we have a sink built in right here. You have your trash below. We have a built-in refrigerator. And you also have the storage space on this side. And then underneath here, you can see your cooktop. And then obviously you have a ton of prep space as well. And then you also have this little section right here, so this can fold out if you need additional prep space. On board, this has an option for the Fusion stereo system, so you can see the controls for that right here. And then here, let's step up to the helm station. First of all, you have three different seats, and these are all lift bolster seats. And I really like the designs of these. It looks like you'd be very snug and secure in these seats when going at fast speeds. And then here at the home station, we have two Simrad screens. You have your throttle control over here. And this is also paired with a joystick system with the sky hook. This will use the two outboard motors in conjunction with the bow thruster, which you can see the controls for right here. So you can maneuver the yacht very easily with this joystick. And then because you don't have the side decks, you have this single piece windshield, and then you have the gate right here that flips up, and this is how you actually get up to the bow. So I think that's a pretty neat design on a yacht of this size. It makes a lot of sense because you get all that extra space on the inside. And here, of course, you'll see another large sun pad. And then underneath here, you can see your anchor chain and the controls for the anchor. The remote is right back there. And you also have a separate control for the Fusion stereo system up here as well. So that's right down here. Then you also have a little gate to close off this area. So you can flip this screen over and then you have the gate and that's how you secure this area if the weather gets a little bad. You can also tie in with canvas all of the areas back here. But obviously the whole point is that it's pretty open. And then like I mentioned, we do have a single cabin down below. So you have the door right here and this slides across. 
Then here we have another little dining area. And then when you lower the table, you throw a cushion on top, and that's how you get the single berth. Then you have pretty decent sized windows. So it's not very claustrophobic. And you do have full standing headroom in this space. So it's a pretty good size for a single cabin yacht like this. And probably most important on a day boat or weekender like this, it does have an ensuite and a single head for the yacht. So you can see your sink. It has the shower right there. And then behind this door, let's step inside and around, you have the toilet. So, pretty impressed with this space. You also, you probably noticed the little bit of lighting accents underneath. And I'm curious if you can change these colors or if they're always set to that color. You can probably change them, but if not, I'm sure that's a custom option that you can choose the color. And then you do have a few different finish choices from Bavaria. So although this is a production yacht, like I said, this is the white oak, but there are other options to choose from. I think they have a walnut option. And then you also have choice between teak or it's called S-Tech which is a more modern synthetic material, which is much more easy from a maintenance perspective. And then underneath all of these hatches here, we'll open up one of these. This is typically where you'd find some of the more maintenance related items. So if we open this one up, you'll see you have your batteries in here and some of your pumps. And of course, those are gonna be littered throughout this yacht and you have tons of extra space because of those outboard engines. Range, probably a couple hundred miles, depending on your cruising speed. But like I said, I'm more concerned about that top speed of 45 knots. It's very impressive. And underneath the seats in places like this, you will have some storage. So although it's a pretty small boat, it's still pretty flexible with how you can use it. So let me know what you think in the comment section down below. I think Bavaria builds a really high quality yacht. Thank you to SNJ Yachts for letting me on board. I'm going to link this yacht down in the description if you want to see it in greater detail. We will catch you next time.